Okay guys, so welcome to this week's episode. I am actually currently uploading um, last week's episode that you'll just be watching. Uh, but we've just heard that there is a massive barge that's listing to the port side. Lots of people on it, but it's run aground once on the reef and apparently it's being brought into the harbor now. Um, so people have been told to be prepared to move their boats. Davy is currently in Porta Plata. Um, he had to deal with something um, that happened to a friend's boat here in the harbor. Um, so he's helping with that. Um, so I've had to get both engines running just in case, but I don't know if I'm confident enough to move this boat by myself if I have to. Um, so hopefully they don't actually bring it right into this main harbor. There's so many boats here that are not manned. Um, a lot of them are unattended. People are back in the States. Um, so sorry, I keep looking out just to make sure it's not coming in yet. But I'm going to show you, apparently it's massive. So talk is that they want to try and run it aground in the outer harbor. If you remember, that's where we were quarantined when we first came in. So maybe if they run it aground out there, um, I hope they don't bring it in. If it's as big as they're saying, Andy and Sonia have gone out in their dinghy just to check it out and see. Um, I'm shaking a little bit. It's irresponsible of them to bring it into this harbor. I reckon if it is as big as they're saying and to say that move boats. Um, I'm not happy at the moment. I can see the tugboat now that's actually bringing it in. I'm going to take you up front. All right, so both engines are running. There's water coming from that one. It's good to run the engines too. So I don't know if you can see it all the way out that direction. It's not actually as far, but on GoPro it looks far. Um, that's a tugboat. So where the actual big vessel is, I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens. Um, all right guys, so still nothing yet, um, but I have actually tied the dinghy closer in on this side. We do have our friend's dinghy on the other side of us at the moment. We're just looking after that for them. Um, but I've tied the dinghy close so I don't run over the prop if I do in fact have to move the boat. So <laughs> the shaking has happened. That tugboat is still in the exact same spot as it was before though. So. Um, Fingers crossed. Davey did say that apparently they want to run it ashore onto Dogship Beach. Um, it's called that because a lot of cruisers take their dogs there. Um, but it is, that beach is right at the entrance of the harbor and it's a 200 ton vessel that is not in control. If they were to put it there, if it did blow off, <sighs> uh, there's a lot of boats that it would hit. Um, it would not be a good thing. So again, keeping you posted. All right, so the Navy boat is coming back in um, right now. So I believe the Commandante is on board and a few people from the Navy. You'll be able to see them behind me. Um, so by them coming back in, does that mean the barge is not coming or have they done everything they can? I'm not sure. Okay, so I can breathe a little bit more now. Um, we got a few messages saying that they're not going to bring it in. So I hopped in the dinghy because Andy and Sonia were still out there. So I went and saw them. Um, apparently this thing has completely moved the channel markers. It even caught one of them around its prop and it was pushed out of the way. Um, it's freaking huge. So right now it is actually blocking the whole channel. So no one can actually even come in or out of Loop Run. Um, it's being pushed back and forth, um, but it's it's the wrong way. It's not nose into the to the swell. It's kind of side on and it's being pushed out that way and back and forth. Um, not really sure what they're doing with that, but hopefully they'll just pump some water out of it. They'll get it well enough so that they can limp it into Porta Plata. So hopefully everything is well and good but i'm not gonna leave the boat for a little bit longer just until we're 100 percent sure um bit of a stressful morning but <laughs> what can you do so remember if that something goes wrong he's not going to drift to us with this wind he's not going to drift he'll go into the mangrove so so guys you remember there's that barge yeah you well you can't see it you can't see it big enough it's 200 tons yeah it's huge it doesn't look as big as what the drone footage makes it look out to be um but they've pulled it off of the little beach that it was careened on thought you weren't supposed to do work in the harbor but welding on a little <laughs> beach it's just Depends in the harbor that's fine um but we just got noticed that everyone was saying oh they're bringing the barge in be careful be careful so we wanted to come and start our engines and stuff but looking at the wind angle if they do lose control they'll go to the mangroves yeah 
and also it looks like they've just pulled it off of the beach and now the tug is trying to push it back out so i don't actually believe it's coming in i think it's going out it was just the the, the captain is doing his job and so i met the captain yesterday he seems like a very very professional captain as well so i've got regards for that guy yeah yeah it's going out yeah definitely he was just trying he just got it off still good to make sure everything's good yeah it's good to be on board just in case we had to <laughs> cut the lines and run yeah all right cheers guys crisis averted <laughs> <laughs> good morning happy christmas eve but i just wanted to say a good morning i'm sorry i'm blurry eyed i literally just got out of bed i just put the coffee pot on but don't worry i'm not going to film making coffee because too many channels do that and it's just yeah it's kind of annoying eh? but welcome to the harbour with the massive rainbow behind me and yeah just happy christmas everybody anyway we had loads of rain in the night so we now have three dinghies we got dan's we got andrews oh dan's has actually got a fish in it that's perfect bait size that's perfect and we have our own did get a comment yesterday actually from my mate eric apparently we look like a floating trailer um trailer trailer park trash or something because we've got everything hanging off of our boat at the moment but anyway happy christmas eric we'll see you later you're coming over for dinner but yeah just wanted to start the day it's a beautiful day really beautiful day so anyway happy christmas everybody also ingela lucia i love you so it's a bit of a rainy christmas eve guys <laughs> but happy christmas anyway yeah happy christmas we got some friends coming over in about an hour or so. We were going to do a bit of a Christmas Eve dinner, weren't we? Yes. I've been making lasagna all morning. So instead of your traditional turkey, we're having lasagna. So yeah. It's going to be good. So I think maybe tomorrow we'll pop into town and see Dan and Jen and get some real turkey and yeah. stuffing and all that sort of stuff. We'll let someone else cook that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a little bit of an update, guys. What we're up to, what we're doing, what we've been doing. Um, we've been getting lots of comments like, what are you guys doing? You can't well, just sit and loop on forever. Yeah, a lot of people are saying we want to see you moving and traveling and going elsewhere. We want to see that as well. We don't want to be stuck here much longer. It is a beautiful place though and it is a great community, so that is a plus. Um, but plans for the new year? Um, well, basically, so what has been going on? We've had to scale things back and be very frugal to try and recover after the... The boatyard. Mm. I was going to call it something worse than that. It's probably the better language. Um, so we've been trying to recover from that. And things are getting better for us. Um, and we're starting to, you know, put a couple of pennies back in the right bank account and not live off the credit card too much. So that's one of the reasons we haven't moved yet. Uh, another one, I've just been offered a job. So I've been offered a job back in Cayman as a marine engineer, which is fantastic. Um, that's what we think we're probably going to do. So it looks um, like we might be heading to the Cayman Islands soon. Ish, maybe a few months time um, yeah, we've still got we to build some rudders I've still got to build some <laughs> rudders um, we've also got a work permits and all that sort of stuff done as well um, but don't worry guys uh, this time in the Cayman Islands I think we're going to keep filming um, if you guys are interested in all the marine projects and boat projects I can just take the camera to work yeah. what do you reckon? give me a thumbs up if you think I should do that or should we just take a year off while we work in the Cayman Islands so you tell us what you think um, but yeah we need to do a little bit of uh, working so that we can finance this um, so we don't have to live off of YouTube too much. Um, but we are super excited to get back to the Cayman Islands. As some of you know, we do have a storage locker with all our stuff from our old boat I there. want my drone back! So we'll be able to get all of our stuff back that we left there when we thought this pandemic wasn't going to go on. It'll well. also make for a good video getting oh there. This is like 700 nautical miles from here. <laughs> um, also, a big thing that we have an issue at the moment is also we live, we've got little Foxy. Yep. So normally we would have stopped in Jamaica or Cuba or somewhere on the way. But unfortunately, both countries do not accept dogs. So... Yeah, and we still have to do the uh, import permits and paperwork for Fox. So that's going to be fun as well to try and sort that out. Um, I reckon you might even have, end up having to fly to Canada yeah, to drop Foxy off. And so. then come back here to help crew with me. And then mom and dad, could you bring Fox back when we get there? <laughs> that would be really handy. So, yeah, we're just seeing what's going to happen. There's a lot of things that are going to be happening in the new year. So we're really excited and looking forward to the next chapter. Hopefully we won't be here in Lupron too much longer. But As much as we do love <laughs> Lupron, it's a great place. Yeah. Uh, looks like Andy and Sonia might be joining us as well, coming with us, buddy boating across. They're also looking for work in Cayman. 
Um, they've got lots of skills, just like we have, that could all work out really, really so well. well. So we'll see what happens, but that's just a little bit of an update for you guys. But for now, we're going to enjoy ourselves on Christmas Eve and tomorrow for Christmas Day, and then we'll get back to filming um, for the new year. Does that mean I get my Christmas dinner and I can do some fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed it.